Andy here, and I've been a bit quiet again this past week because I've been super busy behind the scenes, and basically I have created the most beautiful OBS theme, which I think you guys have seen me show off in uh, recent videos and stuff like that, but it's now available on the store. Uh, I mean, I would recommend that you guys support monthly because it helps me keep making this stuff, um, so you can even get it from the store or by supporting monthly, you get access to absolutely everything on the StreamUp website, which there's a lot and there's even more coming soon but the theme basically if you want to turn OBS from this into looking like this which I love it just looks so much nicer like it just looks so much more modern um, I've redone every single element inside of OBS that well I think I've done every element don't Bear with me on that one. Uh, but you can adjust the, the font size if you want to, the, the density, so how wide these like the padding is and stuff like that. So you can adjust it to exactly how you want it. I like it really small like this. And as you can see, it just keeps everything looking super tidy. And it works really well with the StreamUp OBS plugin, which, you know, this nice little toolbar up here that you can put your start streaming, start recording, all that kind of stuff up there. We have got three different themes, and here's a little bit of a sneak peek of the other stuff that's coming out soon. We've got the Code with TD, well, the Andy that you've just seen, the Code with TD, which is this one just here, uh, which is super nice. This this is because TD wanted this. TD wanted this, so we, we made it. That, that's cool. Well, he made it. Uh, and we also have the Silver Link, which I think is actually my favorite. Because this matches Silverlink's colors, and it is stunning. I've done every little bit. We've even got these Apple-esque uh, toggle bars as well, which are really toggle bars, toggle buttons, and stuff like that. It's really, really nice. Uh, the other bits that I extremely like are things like the advanced audio settings. This looks a lot more cleaner. There's not tons of different things everywhere. Uh, there is a couple of visual hitches, so... I've wanted to put icons here rather than having the text. So when you click one and you press like monitor and output, that won't update the icon until you reopen the setting just here. But that is something that I'm adding to the stream or plugin that will do that. It's a limitation with OBS, but I've basically implemented a bunch of things in the StreamUp plugin. So if you're using the StreamUp plugin alongside this theme, it unlocks a couple of extra features, such as the on and off buttons become a little bit slidery. Uh, you can tell when you actually go into like the StreamUp settings a little bit more. So if I open up the StreamUp settings, uh, you can actually see the toggles. It's just got a little bit of an animation. I've just basically modernized it. I'm I'm really proud of where it's at. There's a bunch of features in the StreamUp plugin, like for the toolbar, resizing it and everything like that. It is super clean and it works well with like the scene organizer. There's so many features in there as well. And it's, it's kind of, I'm really proud of this one and I definitely want to keep um, adding things to it and making it look better. So if you do purchase it, you will get all the updates going forward. If you're supporting monthly, then you can just get access to everything until you stop supporting and all that jazz. So it's up to you what you want to do. Um, but you won't get any future support if you stop supporting and everything like that. So it's up to you. It keeps me kind of making this stuff full time. Uh, to get a hold of it, it's just on the, the StreamUp website, the StreamUp OBS theme. You'll see it down the bottom. You will have to log in to purchase or if you're supporting already, log in with whatever platform you've been supporting on, either me at andylippy.co code at uk or on the stream site and you could just download everything from here it's fine i've done videos on all that before uh, you can see a little bit about it there'll be a video on here as well which is this video so it'll be like videoception and I, I just if you've got any feedback about it things that you like things that you don't like or if you want a specific color scheme just reach out and maybe i can sort that out for you just please hit me up i'm here to help i just yeah i'm i'm really proud of this one and I think it really changes the the whole look of OBS. I've even been making some adjustments to Excel Draws plugins to better align with theming as well. So in Excel Draws upcoming updates of a couple of different plugins, you probably will see um, changes so it suits themes better, including like Atoms theme. Uh, there are some plugins that it's not currently perfect with at the moment, but I'm still adding the support later on down the line. Uh, Atom, I just need to add support for that. Um, and some other Exceldro plugins, but because I'm having to tweak the other plugins at the same time uh, to get the look that we want, uh, it's just a bit of a bigger project than 
meets the eye. But hopefully you do like it. It's super easy to install. Once you download it, uh, all you need to do is find exactly where you've put it. So if we go to my um, C drive, where did I? Downloads. There we go. Downloads. Uh, I've got so many things in here at the moment. Uh, you'll see it here. It's just got a folder in it called data. You just need to copy that folder and you need to go and just bang it wherever your uh, OBS is. So mine's in here. So I go to software and mine's called testing OBS. And you literally just paste it into your main folder where you'll see data and stuff like that. So you just paste it there and it probably will ask if you want to replace. Um, uh, but it might not. If it does, it's fine. You could just replace. There's nothing in there that's going to delete anything you might already have. Um, if you're replacing, it might be because you're updating from this theme to a new one and everything like that. So that's fine. Just press replace. And then when you start restart OBS, you just go into settings and uh, appearance and you, you should see stream up just there. We've got all the support docs as well. So if you do need to find more information, you can totally find that. Uh, watch out because I'm going to do a big update video on, on things that are happening on the channel uh, very soon. So make sure you are subscribed because there's some really exciting things going on. All right. Much love to you all. Thanks for this and share it with your streamer friends. Hopefully uh, they'll enjoy it. All right. Put your rock over the stone. Much love.